Welcome to today's version of Real Networking Live. Happy to have Damon Washington hanging out in the studio with us today. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. And welcome back to Real Networking Live. D Wash. What's going on, man? How's it going? Hey, good. Thanks for good. stopping by today. No problem. Uh, so for those of you who haven't seen an episode of Real Networking Live, basically what this is is a one-way, one-to-one. So we're going to get to know a little bit about Damon, a little bit about his background, kind of what makes him tick, like what, what, what he likes to do. <laughs> uh, and then uh, the discussion will obviously come around to business, right? And you right. know, so we can uh, tell everybody you know, what you do. And then uh, one of the things we do at the end also is we ask people, we ask you, like, who are the best people for you to be introduced to? Because, you know, this is going out on LinkedIn. Hopefully people have people in their networks, right, that they can just make a direct introduction, you know, to you as well. So, you know, so we kind of follow the principles of what a successful uh, one-to-one should look like. But it's me asking the questions. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. Not a problem. So uh, that's kind of, uh, if you're a viewer, that's kind of what to expect. Um, so you're a, you're a native Texan. You're a Tyler boy, right? Correct. Tyler, yeah. Texas, born and raised. What was Tyler like growing up? Uh, growing up, uh, Tyler is, you know, is, is really a small city. You know, mm -hmm. it's what, two high schools and a private school there. So uh, it is... is it was pretty close knit family, you know. Right. Everybody knew each other, so right. you know. Of course, you know, I'm the youngest of four. Now, was Earl Campbell growing up and living there at the same time? No, but I grew up with his nephew. Oh, okay. So, uh, me All and right. his nephew went to school together. Uh, okay. I was a great higher than his nephew, so oh, okay. uh, he was a pretty good football player himself. Too, uh, I so, guess. Yes, <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> yeah, he was a pretty good football player. So you, play, you played football too in high school, mm -hmm. right? Like, what else do you do in Tyler other than uh, play football? Pretty much right? football, and that's it. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> That yeah. was it, you know, that pretty much football. Yeah. So when did you come to the Dallas area? Actually, um I I I came actually I was I went to elementary in the Dallas area. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And then I went back to high school and you know, in Tyler, okay. graduated from John Tyler, then a couple of years after that I moved back to Dallas and okay. then of course started the started my business. Yeah. So. So you started that you started the uh, your janitorial business yeah. that early? Yeah, I started yeah. janitorial. Well, actually, my mom started the janitorial okay, business. Gotcha. Growing up, mm -hmm. you know, she cleaned houses, so mm -hmm. uh, but may may uh, made a great living out of it. And then she started to get a commercial janitorial, and I'm like, hey, what is this? And you know, she showed it to me. I'm like, and then of course she wanted to go to traveling. I'm like, hey, I take the janitorial business, so. Okay. As, as, as that, well, that's cool. Happen. I didn't realize it was a family mm -hmm. business yeah, too. So. so, so seeing her do that work when you were growing up had a obviously had a big impact on you right. because you just followed in her footsteps. Pretty right? much, you know, yeah. I was going to school, working the other jobs, and I started the janitorial at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, oh yeah, I, I learned how to burn both candles at you know <laughs> burn the candles at both ends. So. Right. <laughs> So um, one of the other things I learned about you recently uh, that you like to do in your spare time is you do martial arts, right? Correct. Yeah. So what I am, I am not going to try to pronounce it. So you have to tell us what form of karate. It's actually Shobayashi Shoryu uh, karate. Okay. So uh, I've been doing it for six years. I just got my black belt January the 15th. Uh, <laughs> Watch out, right? <laughs> That's, you sound like my brother. Uh, it was a pretty good test, uh, you know, and I learned a lot, you know. Mm. I had one different expectation when I first started, mm. but it's totally different once you actually get into it and, you know, start doing it. So what, what, is, what is the distinctive part of that particular, uh, is it called a discipline? Yeah, I mean, you, you, you learn discipline, you learn... Uh, uh, it's a workout also. I, I like to work out, but you do learn discipline. You know, you do learn how to control yourself. But it's not like I had the expectation like it was like on TV, like the Bruce Lee, and you yeah. flying kicks and <laughs> spin around kicks. It's nothing like that. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's nothing like that. But you do learn some techniques, what, though. So, so what's particular about the, 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 the version that you got your black belt in? Because I know like Jeff McKissick, our friend Jeff McKissick, like he's done like two or three different types or yeah. so, See, so so what's unique about the one that you chose actually him and i uh when i did talk to jeff about it he does have a black belt and show you also oh, okay so you got it's 
you got different styles of karate, you yeah. know, uh, and then of course you got different styles of kung fu, you know. It was, it's, I would put it like this, like Ford and Chevrolet. You got different kinds of Fords, mm. and you got different kinds of Chevrolet. Okay. So, yeah. so having Jeff and I have both have a Chevrolet uh, right. truck, so right. to speak, you know. <laughs> sure, yeah. So it's kind of. It's kind of how it works, okay. so, but yeah. So is it more like defensive? Or? Yeah, uh, okay. it's self-defense, you know. Okay. They teach you not to strike first. Okay, So. gotcha. But me, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what happens, right? Right, you know, I'm like, yeah. I will defend myself if I right. have to, you know. Yeah. You know so. Well, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. It's a good, a, a, a interesting hobby yeah. to have, right? I'm sure it brings it. up a lot of unique conversations. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. <laughs> right. And of course, I have an older brother, you know, uh, that you met a couple of weeks yeah. ago, and um, you know, he now he won't mess with me. He's like, no, I'm not gonna pick up. Yeah, he's a pretty brother. big guy too. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, you know, boy, shorts now. I'm not gonna mess with you. Right. So. Um, so you've been doing the janitorial business for a while, and I know because you, you came to us to help you with, um, with a new product that you developed and launched, so why don't, you, why don't you tell people about that so that they can be thinking of potential people to, to connect yeah. with you and make introductions to Well, of course, I came up with this project. Uh, I came up with the idea of uh, January uh, 2018. And so, it was because you're already doing janitorial not, work, yes. and you're like, there's got to be a better way. Right. So, so it's one uh, of those stories, yeah. right? So yeah, yeah, how cool. that came about, um, uh, of course, I got employees, and I, the way I did my trash bags was I just used grocery bag, time on the trash can, you know, you know, dispense them that way. Well, my will ask me for a pretty good while, but every time I hire employees, you know, I set it up for the employees, they tear them up just like that. I'm like... I mean, there's got to be a better way to do this. I'm mm -hmm. like, why are y'all turning these up? So I did some research online, um, didn't find anything, and I just looked at it. I'm like, Damon, why not make it yourself? So, um, you know, I, I did a sketch of it, you know, got the idea in my head, did a sketch of it, and I called my sister because I know she know how to sew. And, you know, after some time, she couldn't get it, you know, because she's busy with life also. Then um, my wife was telling me about, uh, one of her friends that actually used to work for me. Mm -hmm. And she's like, well, this young lady know how to sew. I'm like, oh, okay. So I called her up and said, hey, you know, we talked about it. We met for lunch. I gave her my sketch. You know, she looked at it. She said, I think I can make it. I'm like, okay, fine. So, and about, you know, again, she has a life also. Yeah. About six months later, she came to me and she said, hey, your product is ready. And I'm like, and I was so excited, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know, like, oh, let me hurry up and get home. So I, you know, ran home. I looked at it. I'm like, okay, you know. So I took it to work with me the next following day, you know, put it on the trash can. I'm like, yes, this works. Okay, this works. So cool. I told her, I said, I need about six more of these. And then mm -hmm. after that, then I put it in production. Yeah. So. So it's called the tea, tea bag, right? The tea bag company. Right. Yes, okay. Sir. All right. Yes, sir. Um, well, uh, and you're, you're starting to have some success with it Correct. too, uh, right? Um, so so let's go ahead and have the conversation now since we're talking about it like like what what is it like the perfect solution for what kind of environment actually anyone that uh, the facility maintenance janitorial I mean anyone that's dealing with trash bags really even if for some homes um, I've, I have had a couple of clients say hey I use this for home because I have the big, you know, uh, uh, industrial trash bags, mm. and of course I do make a, what I like to call the one pocket. They hang it up in their garage, and they're mm -hmm. like, "Hey, this works for me." Yeah. So anyone. The best for you is going to be like institutions or correct. like janitorial companies that have multiple crews, right? Or janitorial supply companies, right. even. That's you know, that's that, perfect. You and know, then like industrial, like uh, not industrial, I would say uh, institutional, like schools, right? Schools, schools churches, a, yeah. that that kind hospitals, of hospitals, hotels, yeah. schools. Those are perfect clients to, uh, okay. for this product and I mean and on top of that it'll save you time mm -hmm. you know it'll save you time and that way you can increase your uh, productivity therefore you increase your profit mm -hmm. so I, I think it's a wonderful tool to, uh, to have and again it just again saves your time so okay well we'll, we'll be we'll be putting the the uh, uh, information up okay. on you know so people can go and check out your website and watch your videos <laughs> uh, so no, we had the we had the privilege of uh, of working with you to to make your uh, right. uh, product video and and a couple of That's other cool. things for you too, and that was really fun. So, I you know we like doing those kind of projects. Yes. So, um, 
And you actually, uh, you actually got some uh, response from that. I think you said on on LinkedIn, right? Right. From, uh, from somebody who saw that. Yeah. I, um, uh, uh, Sync Light Media did my commercials. Uh, I uploaded it on uh, LinkedIn and Facebook, but mainly on LinkedIn. Got a lot of response. So, yeah. if you guys ever need Sync Light Media? Make sure you talk to these guys. Well, I probably appreciate that plug. It's, uh, <laughs> I, I wasn't trying to set you up for that. I was just <laughs> letting problem. people know that video does work. Right. I mean, yeah. you know, it's like if you do it the right it, way, it, it actually, can really work yeah, for you. Actually, when I first launched the product, you know, I took a couple of pictures and I did videos, on, you know, myself. And I'm like, yeah. you know, this, 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 this is not getting it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you know what? Let me get a professional to do it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, of course, I had you guys to do it. And, you know, it was more professional. And once I uploaded it on LinkedIn, it was just like, you know, calls start coming in, you know, mm -hmm. more regularly than they was. You yeah. know, it's still, I'm still not there yet, but yeah. more regularly than I was. I'm like, okay, this works, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. I'm glad it's working out for you. So. so. So, uh, so what's next for you? Like, are you, what's, you, you got any, like, uh, any kind of trips planned or something? Um, or like, I yeah. mean, what you, well, what, for, as far as business, I do, I am going to a show in uh, Chicago, okay. October 10th, I believe. So okay. October so if 10th. you're in Chicago, then yeah. we'll hook up. Yeah. Uh, it's the uh, ISA commercials, the ISSA, I forget what the, uh, admin stands for, mm. but it's the, one of the largest cleaning janitorial industry out there that puts on shows so oh, cool okay um i'll be going to that in october I, like i said october the 10th through the 13th in chicago uh presenting my product so mm. uh that's what i got coming up and if i can quit working so much take my wife on a trip one day you yeah know, so where do you guys like to go when you go places anything that involves travel my oh, okay. wife is cool with it. all right cool all right all right She's a wonderful, she's a wonderful person I appreciate too. It. Thank yeah, you. we've yeah. met her a couple yeah. of times. Yeah, she's a lot of fun. She so. was kind of when I started this business. She was, I mean, not like she wasn't on board. She was. She just wasn't involved in it. Mm -hmm. And now that she see see it blooming, she like, oh, I like this. You know, yeah, I'm right. like, okay. <laughs> So. Yeah, well, I hope it's something you guys can do do for a while and, yeah. and be very successful at. Thank you. So, yeah. So, th thank you very much Appreciate for, no, for stopping you. by the studio and having a conversation. Yeah. Thank you to everybody that's watched. Obviously, you can come back and watch it anytime. So, um, uh, we're wrapping up this episode of Real Networking Live. So, stay tuned uh, for the next time we go live. Check in and uh, see who we're talking to next time. See you soon. Thanks. Oh,